you guys, it's Heather Creekmore from Compare to Who, and I am super excited to be part of this initiative to help girl moms, this 25 days of encouragement for girl moms. I am happy to be here um, and give you my advice on raising godly girls who are in this world but not of it. So today, I am gonna talk to you about body image, yikes. That's a topic I never thought in a million years I would be qualified to talk to you about because it's something that I struggled with from age probably eight until my mid-30s. Body image was a big deal for me. I had an eating disorder that was undiagnosed. <sighs> Boy, did I not like the way I looked and I did everything I could possibly do to try to change my physical appearance thinking that that would help me feel better about my body. Um, and it didn't work, and so I'm grateful that God in His grace showed me a pathway to freedom that didn't require me to completely adjust what I look like. Um, but my encouragement to you today is let's help our daughters through this. And the best way, girl mom, that I think you can help your daughter to have a positive body image is for you to get this issue straight in your own head. When we girl moms know where our value is derived, when we girl moms are set in our hearts with the truth that our value does not come from our physical appearance, our value doesn't have anything to do with what the scale says about me or what the mirror says about me, that is when we find freedom and then the next step is that's when our daughters start to learn what it really means to be a confident woman. You see, I meet so many women who are like, well, I'm helping my daughter and here's how I'm doing it. I never say the D word around her diet and I never complain about my body around her and oh, my daughter has no idea that I have body image issues. She has no idea. I mean, I never say anything about it uh, when I'm around her. But we underestimate the intelligence of our children when we do that because here's the truth. Our kids, they watch what we do so much more than they listen to what we say. It's modeling that's most effective, even on this issue. And so mom, if you are confident that your worth is driven from Jesus alone, and, and not stressed and panicked about trying to be affirmed for what you look like physically, then there's a good chance that your daughter is going to see that and model that and inherit that from you. But even if you're watching your words, but yet you're still kind of stressed and always trying to lose weight and always on the next diet, even if your daughter doesn't know, although she probably does know, um, always at the gym, always posting your calorie counts, um, how much you burned on your Facebook. If, if that's you, girl mom, can I just encourage you and hear this with lots of love because I've got nothing but compassion. We got a hard job here, but can I just encourage you to just take a pause and and figure out where your worth really comes from. Stop believing the lie of beauty. And you know, that's another way we can help our daughters. So we can show our daughters the lie of beauty, right? Because beauty tells us through culture, through what we see on Instagram or television or magazines, right? Beauty tells us that if we have more of it, our lives will be better. We'll be happier, more fulfilled, more content, have anything we want, have the man of our dreams, keep the man of our dreams, because why would a man ever cheat on a beautiful woman? Down the road it goes. These are all lies of beauty. You see those same magazines that we hate when we're checking out of Target, you, know, you see the magazine with the woman in the bikini, you're like, ew, that's not helpful, I don't need to see that, right? But we fail to read those headlines around those women. And, you know, most of the time those headlines will say something like, why she struggled with depression, why she almost ended it all, why he left her, why he cheated on her. See, the truth is that beauty, more beauty, even even our culture's standard of beauty does not guarantee anyone a struggle-free life. Beauty lies. And so, girl moms, we have a responsibility to encourage our daughters to believe the truth of God. Believe where value, and, and really, let, let me just clarify this even further, where salvation comes from, right? Because salvation doesn't come from being pretty. Salvation doesn't come from meeting culture's standard of beauty. Salvation comes from Christ alone. But beauty wants to tell us something different. So by helping our girls figure out, kind of deduce, decode, beauty's lie, we can help them in a great way too. Anyway, I've written a book called Compare to Who, and it looks like that, and it's on Amazon. I would love for you to read it. I think if you're a girl mom, you really need to. Um, and also check me out on comparetowho.me if you've got questions. I love to interact there. Thank you. Bye-bye.